Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the variegated pineapple. The variegated pineapple or ivory pineapple is an evergreen perennial native to tropical regions of South America. It's a type of pineapple that has been selectively bred for its unique coloration. This variety is characterized by yellow and white leaves bordered by red. The fruit is also smaller than most other types of pineapples and is typically tasteless. The plant is grown more for the novelty of the leaves rather than the edibility of the fruit as a houseplant. It mainly serves ornamental purposes and is not widely available in stores. The variegated pineapple is a beautiful plant with striking foliage and attention-grabbing fruit. It can be grown both indoors and outdoors in many different climates. Just don't expect its fruit to be anything other than decorations, as they lack the sweet taste of their more commonly cultivated brethren. Variegated pineapple is a tropical plant that needs bright light to grow. It requires a little more light than common pineapples, but not too much. They thrive in morning sun and afternoon shade or filtered light. Too much direct sunlight will damage the leaves. They are tolerant of understory shade, where they have some filtered light and some protection from full sun. It can also be grown outside, provided the temperature remains within acceptable ranges. These plants need moderate watering. Watering frequency varies depending on pot size, location, and time of year. Allow it to dry thoroughly between watering. This plant needs more water when it is in the growth phase and less frequently when not actively growing. These plants like warm conditions. The ideal temperature is around 70 to 8 to 6 degrees Fahrenheit for indoor plants. They can be placed outside during the summer provided you bring them inside before night temperatures drop to below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Variegated pineapples need a humid environment to live and remain healthy. They are less tolerant of dry air than other pineapple varieties. In the absence of a greenhouse or humidity tent, simply place a tray of water beneath your plant and check it daily. If you have central heat or air conditioning taking out the moisture from the room, you may want to invest in a small humidifier for your plant. Misting your plant morning and evening can also help. Though these plants usually don't need fertilizer, it helps to feed them some in the growing season of spring and summer. A balanced liquid fertilizer diluted to half strength is more than enough if you feed the plant every two weeks. You can stop fertilizing during the dormancy period, which is fall and winter. Variegated pineapple is usually propagated by planting the offsets or cuttings. The offsets from the basal base of the plant serve as the ideal candidates for planting. Use well-drained soil and water regularly. You should also apply fertilizer to the soil around the offsets to ensure proper growth. Keep it in a bright spot without direct light and don't let the temperature fall below 20 degrees centigrade. These plants can also be propagated by pineapple's crowns. Prepare a pot. Use good quality, rich potting mix. Remove the crown by carefully cutting and twisting it from a fresh pineapple. Allow the crown to dry for one or two days. This helps to seal the base of the plant, preventing rot. Plant the crown into the potting mix and water it well until water runs freely from the drainage holes. Keep it moist but not soggy. Place your plant in a warm, sunny location but not in direct sunlight. If you want to keep it inside during winter, aim for a bright position, such as near a window. Variegated pineapple needs standard bromeliad mix when potting for the first time. Choose a porous clay pot for the best results and drill holes in the sides of the pot to allow for water drainage. These plants hate to be waterlogged. These plants should be repotted every two years. After flowering, it should be repotted into a slightly larger pot using standard potting soil. Take the root ball out and gently dust off the soil remnants. Take care not to damage the roots. Place the plant in the new pot and water thoroughly. These plants are mildly toxic. The toxicity results from the presence of bromelain in the leaves, stalk, and fruit of the plant. It can cause mild skin irritation. The fruits are spiky enough and cause damage. These plants are susceptible to common pests like scales, mealybugs, and mites. These pests feed on the sap of the plant and can cause damage to the leaves, fruit, and stem. If infected, clean the leaves with rubbing alcohol or mild-strength pesticide. 